Hey guys, what's happening? And thanks for stopping by. So this video is going to be uh, part of the series that I'm doing where I'm watching original horror films and their remakes, uh, doing reviews for both films, and then doing a compare and contrast between the two. Uh, this is the follow-up video uh, for my previous review of the French film Inside, uh, which came out in 2007. Uh, if you haven't seen that review yet, uh, please check it out. Uh, I'll put a link to it uh, in one of the end cards at the end of this video for you. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be for uh, the American remake, which is also entitled uh, Inside, and it came out in 2016. So uh, just like in the original French film, uh, we have uh, a main character that is a uh, young pregnant woman named Sarah. It starts out with uh, her and her husband driving along in their car when they're involved in a very bad car accident. Uh, Sarah's husband unfortunately doesn't survive, uh, but Sarah and the baby come through pretty much okay. And uh, the main uh, action in the film takes place uh, the night before her due date. Uh, Sarah's planning on uh, spending a quiet evening alone and then uh, going to the hospital the next morning. Uh, someone's going to drive her and uh, she's going to have the baby delivered. Uh, so um, just like in the original film, uh, she gets settled in and there's a knock on the door. Uh, it's a strange woman uh, claiming that her car is broke down and she needs to come inside and uh, use the telephone. And Sarah's getting a bad vibe from her, doesn't want to let her in, so she makes up a story about uh, her husband's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him up. And uh, tells the woman she's just going to have to try another house uh, if she can't come in. Uh, and the woman uh, then accuses her of being a liar, tells her that she knows that her husband is dead. And at this point, Sarah knows that there's definitely something wrong with this woman. So she threatens to call the police, uh, which she does. Uh, the police get there. Obviously, they don't find the woman. Uh, the, but they check everything out, make sure she's okay, and then tell her they'll stop by, you know, later on in the evening to make sure, you know, everything's still good. So uh, once they leave, um, just like in the first film, the, the woman gets inside the house, and then we find out that it's her intention to take Sarah's baby from her. Uh, so that's the, the premise of this film, uh, just like in the original. So um, this is my second time. Uh, last night was my second time watching this film. I haven't seen it since uh, the remake first came out. Um, and, uh, I don't like this remake. I'll just go ahead and say that. Um, it has, uh, a lot of the same content in it that the original did as far as like, you know, story plot points. Uh, they don't do everything exactly the same. They change it around a little bit. Some of the characters are slightly different. Um, but the film is much more toned down, uh, than the original French film. Um, especially if you've seen my review of that, or if you've seen uh, the, the original, you know that that's a pretty violent, uh, pretty gory film. Uh, and this film is none of that. Um, in this version, uh, Sarah is a little bit more likable than she was in the original film. You know, when the original film started out, uh, Sarah was pretty much in just a bad mood. Uh, she was going through, uh, you know, still had some guilt, I guess, uh, because of the fact that... Uh, you know, somebody else died in the car accident, that kind of thing. Uh, and none of that is apparent uh, in this film uh, that I got out of it anyway. Um, and then when the woman first breaks into the house, um, it's, it's done uh, very similar to the way that it happened in the first film. Uh, but in the first film, you got the, uh, the, the very strong sense that this woman did not care if Sarah died in this process. She was going to cut the baby out of her. And if Sarah died, she died because her only uh, her, her only goal was to get this baby. Um, but that uh, doesn't seem to be the case in this film. I mean, she hooks Sarah up to an IV. Looks like you know she's trying to do everything. She chloroforms her so that she's you know passed out. Um, yeah, she just does a lot of things like you know she's trying to to save Sarah in the process. Uh, so I really didn't like that aspect of it. I mean, it definitely waters down. Um, you know, everything that made the original film as, you know, shocking and brutal as it was. Uh, again, the violence is to uh, toned down in this film. There's practically no gore in it. Um, I mean, you got some blood and stuff like that, but it's nowhere near the level that it was in the first film. Uh, again, you know, the events don't exactly play out the same. Uh, some of the key plot points do. Um, but yeah, overall, it's just not the same film. Uh, if you've seen the original and then you watch this one, uh, I don't know how you could be anything but disappointed in it. Now, one thing I will say about it, though, is um, it's, uh, it, it's a 
very well made film. I mean, it, it looks really good. I mean, the acting is is decent. Um, you know, about what you'd expect in a film like this, or you know, in any horror film, really. Um, but I mean, the film just looks good. I mean, it's it's well directed. I mean, the shots, you know, they they do things really really well. I thought. Uh, and then, uh, just like in the original film, uh, I said in my review of that, that, you know, it starts out kind of like a standard uh, horror film with its look and feel. You know, it's, it's got atmosphere, you know, it's, uh, it's creepy, you know, it's building up some tension for, you know, what's going to happen later. And this film starts out that way. I mean, when I, the, the very first time that I watched this film, um, as it was, you know, getting going, I was thinking to myself, you know, hey, this may not be a bad remake at all. I mean, it's, you know, it's looking good, you know, it's feeling about right. Um, but then, you know, once it, once it gets to the, you know, the good stuff, uh, it's just all watered down. Uh, it never gets any real tension in it. Um, especially, and I, and I, and I say that with the bias that I've seen the original film. So I guess the, the point that I'm going to make here with this remake is, if this was not a remake, if there had never been an original inside and this was the movie that, you know, we were going to have, I probably would have thought it was an above average but not great horror film because uh, it's uh, it's definitely not worse than, you know, a lot of the stuff that we get. Um, so, I mean, it, it really just wasn't that bad. But having uh, an original film to compare it to, it was like, well, no, that was much better done in the original film. That was much better done in the original film. Uh, they completely miss this, uh, you know, um, when you have the original to compare it to. It's just nowhere near the same level of tension um, and, and shock value that the original film had. Um, and then the ending, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil the ending a little bit later. Uh, I'm not going to do that for, for you guys that uh, don't want to hear the spoilers. Um, but I'm going to say that this one has a, a typical uh, Hollywood happy ending. Um, there's a, It seems like more modern horror films tend to end on these happy notes um, than they used to in the past. Maybe I'm a little biased because I grew up with films, you know, uh, from the 70s and 80s uh, where they didn't always have the happiest of endings. I mean, you know, horror films were not supposed to be enjoyable um, you know, from a mental perspective, you know, from what actually happened. If you thought about that happening in real life, you know, they were supposed to be depressing. They were supposed to, to have an impact on you psychologically. And it, it seems to me that a lot of modern, modern horror films don't do that, or at least not as much as they used to. I mean, there's always exceptions. Uh, you know, you can't just summarize and generalize horror uh, for any decade, really, because you have exceptions, you know, both ways, uh, no matter the time period. Um, but yeah, it does have a, a, a very uh, droll ending, as far as I'm concerned. So um, yeah, that's basically my, my review of this film. I don't like it. Um, I don't like it at all, really. And uh, you won't get the full impact why until you uh, get further along when I do the spoilers. But if you don't want to hear, though, that that's fine. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to give this um, this remake a solid thumbs down. Uh, I'm not going to give it two thumbs down because it does have some redeeming qualities. Um, if you look at it from the perspective of a standalone film, um, but because it is a remake of an original, I mean, there is a bar that has been set. Uh, the original is one of my favorite French films of all time. And compared to that, this is an utter failure of a remake. Uh, so, but I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, the, the redeeming qualities that it does have, I think are enough, uh, for me not to completely trash it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm still going to give it a solid thumbs down. And obviously I prefer the original to the remake. Uh, so there you have it. Um, if you like this video, um, let me know by clicking that like down below. And, uh, if you, uh, want to subscribe to the channel, click that subscribe button. That way you'll see all the other reviews I have uploaded. And if you click the bell, no, uh, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new review. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you stick around any longer, I am going to spoil the ending. So, uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. So like I said, this film, it, it really did follow, um, the idea of the first film up until the ending. And then it just goes off on a completely different different um, tangent, I guess. Uh, if you know from the original film, um, the, the woman 
Uh, Sarah falls out on the stairs and the woman cuts the baby from her. It's very graphic. It's very shocking. Uh, and Sarah obviously doesn't survive it. Um, so that's what they changed. That doesn't happen in this film. It's that ha happy ending that I was talking about. So, uh, so what happens in this film is they get into a cat and mouse chase through the neighborhood. Uh, which is another unrealistic part. Um, uh, I'm not going to really hold it against the film. Um, but this film takes place in Chicago. Uh, Chicago is a very cold place uh, in the wintertime. They don't call it the Windy City for nothing. I mean, it is brutally cold in Chicago in the wintertime, which is when this film takes place. And not only is there no snow on the ground, it's actually just raining outside. Uh, and they run into the backyard of one of the neighboring houses and end up in a pool that has been covered by a tarp. And the fact that the pool's not frozen solid is just unrealistic for the time of year and the place on the planet that this film takes place. But like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold that against the film. Uh, you could take that for whatever you want. Uh, but anyway, long story short, they both end up in this pool. Um, they cut it with a, uh, a scalpel. And uh, Sarah falls in, or she does that, to, I guess, to escape the woman. And the woman plunges in after her. And um, long story short, the villain, the woman that has been trying to cut this baby out of Sarah, the entire film turns into a hero and saves Sarah and thus the baby from drowning while in the process sacrificing herself to do it. So we get this happy ending where Sarah's okay, the baby's okay, and the villain dies. But the villain dies a hero, and that's just bullshit. It is absolute, total bullshit. I don't buy it. I don't accept it. And that is the reason that I just absolutely do not like this remake. Uh, they took everything that was in the original film that made that film what it was and just watered it down, turned it around, twisted it, mangled it, and come out with this remake that bears no resemblance whatsoever to the original film. So there you go. That is uh, my true thoughts on this remake. I'm still only going to give it a solid thumbs down because like I said, it does, if, if you take it away from the fact that it is a remake and that we have an original to compare it to, minus this ending, it would have been a decent horror film. But uh, because of that, they, they, you know, it is a remake and uh, we've got that original that, uh, that we're comparing it to. This, this remake is just a total failure, in my opinion. And it's probably a, a, an opinion that any reasonable person would have that is a fan of the original. So anyway, again, guys, um, you know, help me out, click that like, subscribe, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see you.